You don't want tortillas? No. Okay, so while breakfast is cooking, um, maybe let me get you caught up a little bit. So from Arkansas, last September, we went to Texas and visited with family for a little while. I'm talking to my phone. Oh, hi phone. <laughs> and then from Texas, we drove through New Mexico up to Colorado. Um, and then from Colorado, we drove back down through New Mexico um, to Arizona, to California, and then back to Arizona, and then to Baja, and then back to Arizona, and then through New Mexico, and then back to Texas, and now we are in Colorado again. So we drove back through New Mexico and back to Colorado. Um, we like the west side of the country the best, I'd yes. say. Yeah, so one thing that we found um, when attempting to go to the East Coast is there aren't a lot of primitive camping, especially especially camping for big rigs like us. You know, we're like 38 people home. Um, we can turn around in lots of places that most RVs can't just because of the, uh, how our wheels are. So we have better, better luck than most people, but anyone in a big rig, especially a dog nose where you have the wheels all the way to the front, you're gonna have just the hardest time in the world um, getting to a lot of those places. And most of them aren't free. A lot of them you have to pay for. So that was kind of a problem for us. We wanted to just live. We don't wanna we don't wanna be around a whole group of other people and you know we just kinda wanna be on our own. So we chose to go out in the middle of nowhere and, and the best place to find that has been the West Coast for us so far. We have lots of announcements coming. We have a big reveal of our next location. We have some reveals of kind of what we've been doing recently. Um, I can just pull up. Are you gonna talk? You have to speak up so they can hear you. Oh. Hello. Where was your favorite place to go while we were while we were in the bus? Aunt Mamie's. Aunt Mamie's. Yep. What about the beach? Yep. And the beach. And the splash park. So at the end of cooking breakfast, we realized that our stove was not even on anymore. So that means that we ran out of propane. So we're gonna eat breakfast and then go get some propane. Time to go down the mountain. Okay, so we got our propane. Um, and now we're gonna go to Garden of the Gods in Colorado Springs. It's not a very good day, but hopefully we can still get some good pictures. What? Yeah. It did? Yeah, on that trip. Oh. Where are we? See my hat. You see your hat? Who made that? Mommy. Mommy. Cool. Okay, I think <laughs> we have walked all we wanted to walk. So we're on our way back to the bus right now to get lunch. And then we're gonna drive 
the trail, drive the road that goes around um, the Garden of the Gods Park. Secret tunnel through the mountain. What are you doing? Slight issue. Uh, we had a brake light come on, so we're gonna go uh, park the bus. Probably until Monday um, when we can get it fixed. So check this out. So worn brake pads can also cause a drop in brake fluid level as the calipers have to push really, really far uh, uh, so that the brake pads touch the rotors. So more fluid means drop in fluid causing your light to come on. Another thing that can happen is there's a sensor wire on your brake pads and when you rub your brake pads too much, um, that sensor wire can touch up against the, uh, the, the, pad, the rotor itself and cause a ground causing your light to come on. So we're pretty sure that this is what it is and um, because we've checked fluids and we've kind of we've checked everything else and that's kind of really the only thing it can be. These engines are really, really simple, so. Okay, so we found our parking spot for the weekend, really just Sunday. Um, and there's a lot of trash here. Let me show you. So far we've filled up two bags and we're working on two more. That's just really sad to see, you know? So let's all just try to do better and take care of our home. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys, we made our kitchen table um, with, like I, I used a pencil and drew it out and Justin and I wood burned it together. Okay, so we're about to eat dinner and watch a movie and you know, nighttime stuff. Good night. 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 Good night.